Hello friend, I welcome you to my channel Lazer Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub right here and today's video you are going to learn how to create modern clean roll-up banner in Illustrator step tutorial. But before I dive into tutorial, if you are very new to this channel, remember to click on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell so each time I post content about Illustrator, you'll be notified. So with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see how you can make Clean modern roll up banner print ready template in Illustrator. So let's paint. The first thing you to do is to uh, go to the home tab right here, go to file. Then from file, make sure you click on new. All right, at the top right here, you have to type in the name of the design modern clean roll up banner. Okay, so for the Width you have to type in 13.944 for the height you have to type in 32.806 and then you make sure that this place is checked to be uh inches at this point here and then you have to come to the color mode right here make sure your color is cmyk and your resolution should always be 300 uh, pp high so finally you have to come down below here and make sure you click on create all right, so next thing you want to do here is to press Ctrl minus. This allows you to zoom in into the entire workspace. So next thing you need to do is to go to your toolbar right here. And uh, at the top right here, so you have to come to the shape right here. Click and hold down. And then at this point here, you have to choose rectangle. Then having choose rectangle, you have to come to the workspace right here and uh, draw your rectangle from the top to the bottom this way. Then you have to come to the property right here and uh, you have to come to the appearance panel. Make sure there is no fill and uh, make sure you maintain stroke as to be uh, black or whatsoever color. All right, so the next thing you want to do right here is to come back to your tools bar right here. And this time around, you have to uh, look for your pen tools from this point here. Click and hold down and make sure you choose pen tools. So having to see your pen tools then you have to come to the top right here and uh, make some pen make some sh some shape like this and uh, you have to press ctrl key down to cut now one thing you want to do right here is to select the shape and then when you select the shape you have to come to the property you can increase the shape uh, stroke width let's make it three so we are able to see what we are doing okay so uh, next thing you want to do right here is to make sure you can make a duplicate of this particular stroke for you to do that just press hot key and drag this allow you to make a perfect a uh, a perfect duplicate you are going to have something like this okay so next thing you want to do right here so you have to come to the back to paint tool click on hold down make sure you choose paint tools again having to see your paint tool then you have to come to the workspace and then uh, at a point right here, you need to make another part. You have to press shift key on your keyboard and uh, make sure you make a straight part like this. And then you have to press control key down to cut. All right, so at this point here, you have to come down below right here again, or better still, you have to uh, select this particular shape and press hot key on your keyboard and drag. This allow you to make a duplicate. All right, so one more thing you can do right here is that you have to uh, work on this one right here. You can just tap a little bit. This allow you to have a tiny gap between the stroke. Then you have to press shift key and select the uh, second uh, shape. Now, one thing you can do right here is to press hot key on your keyboard and drag then you can take it down right here. All right, so the next thing you want to do right here is to come back to this particular shape right here. And uh, you have to press hot key on your keyboard to make another duplicate. Just uh, snap it at this point here. So you're going to have stuff like this. Next thing you need to do is to press hot key again and make another duplicate. Then this duplicate one here, you can snap it. Uh, the next thing you can do right here is to come down below right here. Uh, you can also uh, select on this, press hot key and drag to make another duplicate and you can snap it at the bottom right here. Now you have to press shift key 
and hot key and drag this allow you to increase the stroke size then you have to make a duplicate of this again and uh, you have you press hot key and drag to make another duplicate of the stroke like this then you can select on the top one and press top forward arrow key this allow you to tap to the top a little bit okay so next thing you need to do is to uh, fall back to this particular shape press shift key and select the second shape uh, and press hot key and to make another duplicate send so then the duplicate one here you have to take down a little bit at this point here and then you can make a copy again and again So next thing you want to do right here is to make sure you select everything this way then having select everything you have to come back to your to spa right here and this point here you need to choose your shape builder tools then having choose your shape builder tools you have to come to color field from appearance panel right here you have to change the color and then you begin to you can double click here this allow you to fill this point and then this point here you have to make sure you connect it also to make it in a single shape then right here you have to double click here also this allow you to fill this particular point right here and then this place right here you just have to uh, drag this way and this allow you to fill that that point you can press ctrl plus to zoom out ctrl plus to zoom out then this point here you have to double tap here this allow you to fill that point and then we can scroll up alright so we have that point and then you have to uh, make sure you come down below right here you double tap here this allow you to fit this point also and then uh, this point here you double tap and uh, you double tap this place and you double tap this place okay okay then you can press pull up, uh, control plus zero this allow you to move to the entire workspace you can press control minus to uh, zoom in and then you can select your pictures now so next thing we can do here is to delete some of the unwanted shape so you have to select them one after the other and press delete key all right so the next thing to do is to add color to all the shape you have to select this and press shift key down and select the second shape and then uh, you have to come to the appearance panel right here and you can change the color okay so you have to select on this also and uh, change the color at this point here so i'm going to make use of my high color draw i will just pick the color from this shape okay so i have to select this one also and then uh, we're going to change the color i will have to make use of a uh, foreground color double click on the foreground color right here this allow you to have a color width so i'm going to change to this uh yellow and uh, i'm hitting on okay so we have it that way so we have to select this shape right here press shift key and select this also and uh, select the second shape and i will have to select my high color drop and then uh, i'm going to fit them with uh, yellow and uh, I will have to select this my high color dropper I will fit them with this color right here okay so I have to select this my high color drop and um, I will I will fit this with uh, purple and then we have to select this now we have to uh, select I will have to select this and I will go back to my hair color drop right here and I will fill it with this and then I will have to select this right and uh, my hair color drop I will fill it with this orange I mean the yellow right here okay so I have to make sure I select on this and uh, I'll press hot key to make a duplicate all right so next thing I'm going to do right here is to bring in the image for the banner so we have to go to the home tab right here i will go to file 
then from file i will have to go to place or you press shift key plus control key and plus letter p on your keyboard and click uh to bring in the picture to the workspace so it's going to locate your file folder then you have to check the picture so i'm using this image right here i will click on place boom so we have it this way then i will have to position the image in the right way then one more thing i'm going to do is to right click on the image arrange send to back all right i have to select this particular shape right here and then from the property i will have to go to opacity i will turn down the opacity from 100 percent to 30 percent so you can adjust your picture uh, with my forward arrow key just tap Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is to press shift key on my keyboard and select this shape right here. And I have to right click. This time around, I have to choose uh, make clipping mask. So you are going to have stuff like this. Then I have to fall back to this particular shape right here. And then I will take it overlay of this one right here. Okay. Then I have to come to the opacity. I will turn it down. okay so i have to adjust the, the shape and make sure it fit in properly so let me adjust the opacity more okay all right so at this point here the next thing to do is to add text to our modern clean rule of banner
quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, each hand, you look bad, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, but I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these things I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said